can you tell us about uh, you coming into CSK as such a bit more? I mean, uh, how much have you been able to understand the culture of CSK? Uh, I mean, to the fans as well, obviously, but the culture of CSK as a team and how welcoming have they been to you and how they have changed to you? Yeah, unbelievably so. Uh, I mean, Russ has been on to me for the last two months in terms of getting everything sorted. And uh, from day one, everything was just run fantastically. Um, a lot of it obviously goes down to two blokes, I'd put it down to. Of course, um, MS has a huge part in it and, and just enables people to relax, be very calm, uh, like he is, basically. And it kind of... Um, I think Mike Hussey did a did an interview the other day and, and said exactly that. It it just spreads around the dressing room. You know when he's just calm and, and everything's kind of ticking along, everything's fine. So um, he's a huge part of it. And obviously Stephen Fleming, the head coach as well. Um, I think the combination of those two are fantastic. And they've just created an environment where everyone, obviously different stages of their career, but I think everyone feels the same. It's a very close-knit group, even though we've been only been together kind of two games and and a few practice matches as well. So, um, no, it, it is it's amazing how quickly it's gelled and, um, and and kind of put into place, I suppose. So uh, I think that that's the difference in these close games. Um, that is ultimately... Team culture is a huge thing, and that's, what, that's when it gets you across the line in games like this and, and the first game against Mumbai, against arguably probably two of the best sides. So, um, yeah, yeah, great start. What did Emis tell you when you joined him in the middle with about, say, 58 runs? It's gettable by, uh, you know, T20 standards. What did he tell you? He he didn't really say too much. It was a matter of running hard and and minimising the dot balls. Um, He's he's very fast between the wickets, and um, that was a key part, especially against quality spin. It's a matter of rotating strike, not a, not letting them settle. Um, so that was a huge part of it. And obviously, you pick up once you get in and you're busy. Um, you pick up these the, these boundaries and, and sixes as well. We know how much power we've got um, throughout the side. You looked at the top of the order as well, but all the way down. Um, so we know we've got enough in the tank. It's just a matter of playing it pretty smart and and his whole career he's just played it very smart and and finished off more games than probably anyone else you uh, Sam, uh, when you walked in csk wasn't getting as many bodies as in the four play overs so was it like putting uh, some sort of pressure on you when you walked in with the lack of board which is um not so much it's Again, it's about being composed, and there's not a better per- person to have at the crease. Um, he's so composed, so calm, and, and, and it, it, it's, Im- it's impossible for not to kind of feed onto you. So it was a matter of getting a partnership together. Uh, I know it's very cliche when people say that, but with 2020 cricket on these wickets, um, the wicket was an absolute belter. You know that the bowlers, if they are slightly off, I mean, Andre Russell is probably the best in the world at it, but it, it showed that. He, yeah, that's it. If a bowl is just off his mark, it will go the distance. So you know that in the back of your mind is just about getting yourself in. 2020, you're too, so much in a rush the whole time, but actually you have got an opportunity just to get yourself in and run hard and a ones and twos. Okay, last two. Sir, so, uh, can you talk about the way England players have really, you know, embraced T20 and the last couple of years? They would really be coming over. Yeah, it's a difficult one. Um, of course, it is. For me, I've I've had the privilege to play in this competition the last two years, and there's no doubt. And other tournaments around the world, obviously the Big Bash, I've played for the last two years as well, and and Pakistan Super League. So, these competitions, they're more or less international cricket. You're playing in front of a, a crowd as big as any international international game um, you've got international quality throughout every single side in this competition so it, it is you're going to improve there's no doubt about it um, there, it's just a shame that it, the schedules kind of clash and, and things have to give um, for me I think each player's situation is co- totally individual um, you, can't, you can't say that a person should be doing this and should be doing that it's up to them it's their choice um, so, yeah, I think 
of course, I feel for their counties. I, I've just been made county captain of Kent as well. So, um, yeah, it's a difficult one. It is. But how good is it for a county? I mean, I've been at the club since I was eight. They've produced me through the academy and everything. They're producing players to play for England, ultimately, and to play in the IPL. And, and, and that, that looks really good on them. Um, the county academies are, are fantastic. So in terms of producing top-level cricket... And then if you're going to take a next step up, these tournaments just fast-forward that process, in my opinion.